Hi everybody. Today I'll show you how to create a single page website in WordPress. So let's just begin. Okay, to create the single page website, first of all, we have to install some plugins here. So let's go inside the plugin, click on the add new. So first of all, you will need to install the Elementor. Okay, so as you can see here, that Elementor is already installed. So you have to install the Elementor first. So after the Elementor, we have to install the starter template. Okay, so as you can see here, the starter template is already installed. I need to update this. So let's click on update. Okay, so after installing the starter template, if you also want to add the form in your website, you will actually search for the content form by VP form. So let's just click on the activate. So I have already installed this. So I only need to activate this now. All right, so we have done everything here. So now I have to tell you the theme that I'm using here. So you have to go into the appearance, click on the themes. And here you have to install the Astro theme. So I have already installed this, but if you don't know how can we install the Astro theme, all you need to do is to click on the add new. Now from here, you just have to write down Astro here. You will get the option of the install here, just like this. Okay, so you have to install the Astro theme and after that you have to activate that. All right, so we have installed all the necessary plugins and we have installed the Astro theme. So now what we need to do, we have to select the template from the starter templates. Okay, so first of all, just click on the plugin and go inside the install plugins. Okay, so from here, we have to search for the starter template. All right, so we have the starter template. Now let's click on the activate. I just select the page builder, which is Elementor. All right, so I'll simply go with this template, the outdoor adventure. So let's click here. And you can see the template here. This is looking really nice. Okay, so if you want to upload your own logo, you can simply upload the file here. But if you want to go with the default logo, which you can see here, the outdoor adventure. So let's click on the skip and continue. And from here, you can actually change the default colors here. And if you want to change the font, you can also change the font from here. But I'll simply go with the default color and the fonts. So let's click on the continue. I just click on the submit and build my website. And let's just wait for this. It will start building our template for our one page website. All right, so our website is ready now. So let's click on the view the website and you will be able to see your website here. Okay, so as you can see our website here, this is looking really great. So how can we convert this into the one page website? That is really easy. If I just click on the other links, you will be navigated on the other pages. Okay, so now we will learn to convert this into the one page website. So let's click on the home here. So now what we need to do, first of all, we'll go back inside the dashboard. And from here, I will simply enable all the features of Elementor. So for that, let's click on the settings. So in the settings, we have to click on the features tab. And you can see the option here to activate all. So let's click here. And this would activate all the features of Elementor. All right. So now what we need to do, we just click on our website here. Now let's just click on the edit with Elementor. All right. So now you can see here, we have our template here. And we are inside the Elementor editor. So the first thing that I would like to change is actually the heading here. So let's just click on the heading. I can change the title here to the demo website. And now I would like to change the background image. So how can we change the background image? That is really easy. Let's just click on the edit section. And we have to go inside the style. And from here, we can simply change the background image. So let's click on the choose image. Now you can see here we are inside the media library. So you can simply pick any image from here. So I would simply like to go with this image. Click on the select. All right. So now you can see we have changed our background image and we have also changed the title of our heading here. All right. So if I just scroll down, you can see here we have upcoming events. And if you want to add anything here, you can simply do it. So let's click on the add element. And from here, let's just assume that I want to add the text here. So I'll just simply drag this. And I will simply put the text wherever I want to. So if I want to add this before the heading, I can add this here. If I want to add after the heading, I can also do it. Or if I want to add this after the button, I can also do that. Or if I want to add this in another column, I can also do this as well. So let's just put this here. And now you can see here, we have the other paragraph here. Uh, so we can simply change the text from here. You can change the formatting of the text from here as well. And if you want to add the link to the text, you can simply do it from here. So let's click on the insert. And from here, you can simply add the link to your text. And you can make the text look bold, italic and the underlined. 
So it's all your choice here. So I would simply like to delete this right now. And if you want to add the new section here, that is really easy. I just scroll down. And from here, as you can see the add section here. So let's click here. So we can simply choose the layout here, whether the flex box or the grid. So I'll simply go with the flex box here. And in the flex box, if I want to have the two column structure or the four column structure or the three column structure, I can simply have the particular structure from here. So if I just click on the three column structure, now you will be able to see that we have the three different columns and I can simply add the new section here. So if I just click on the add element, all right. So if I like to add the image in the middle, I can simply add the image. Okay. And if I want to add the heading here, I can also add the heading here. Okay. And if I want to add anything else here, so let's just have the text editor here on the left column. I can simply have the paragraph here. So this is how we can design our own section here. But right now I just simply like to delete this. Okay. So the one thing that I would like to hear is actually the font. Okay. The contact form. So if you remember when we installing the plugins, so I have also installed the WP form. So we'll simply use that WP form. Uh, so you can see the WP form here. So let's drag this and put this here. And you will be able to see the WP forms here. So we have to select the form from here. So it will be the contact form. So this is the basic form of the contact. So if you want to add the new form or if you want to create the new form, you can simply do it from here. Or if you want to make changes to the existing form, that is also easy. All you need to do is to click on the edit selected form. Now you will be able to see the dashboard of the WP form here. So from here, we can actually add the single line text. We can add the paragraph text. Uh, these are the different fields. We can add the drop down, multiple choices, number, check boxes, name, email. So we can simply add any of these fields here. So let's click on the single line text and this would be added into our form. So I can simply add the field like this in our WP form. But right now I simply like to delete this. Okay. So let's click on our name here. And you can see here, you can change the label here. You can change the format of the text here. So right now we have the simple. So you can convert this into the first and the last and first, middle and last. All right. And you can also add the description to our field here. And in the last, you have the option of the required. So if you want to make this field a required field, you would enable this option otherwise you would disable this option in the similar way we have the email so we have the label here we have the description here and we have the required option and we also have the email confirmation option as well okay and you can also see the advanced settings here and we also have the smart logic but unfortunately the smart logic is only available for the pro version of wp form okay so that is how we can add the fields in our contact form so let's just uh, save this and close this so I will simply be using this form here. So let's just go back. Okay, so I would actually like to add the heading here. So let's just drag the heading and put this before the form. So this would be context as form. And I would like to put this into the center. Okay, so this is how we can add the form here. All right, so now let's just go back to the top of our website. Okay, so now let's just see how our website will be looking on the different screens. So this is actually the desktop screen. So if I just move to the template screen, this is how our app will be looking. As you can see here, this is how our website will be looking on the tablet. And if you just select the mobile screen, so this is how our website will be looking on the mobile screen. Okay. So let's click on the desktop here. Okay. So now I would actually like to go inside the site setting. Okay. So as you can see this icon here of the site setting. So it's simply click here. So in the site setting, you can actually change the global color of your template you can change the global font you can change the typography you can change the button image form feeds and you can also explore the other options here okay so let's just close the site settings here all right so now if you want to go inside the history of your previous modifications all you need to do is to click on the elementor logo and from here you can see the option of the sheet so let's click here and you will be able to see the history of the modifications that you have done but right now I haven't done anything here. So that is why I don't see any history here. Okay. So if I just click on the revisions, you can see here, we have done the three different revisions here. So now let's just click on the edit element. All right. So now how can we make this website a single page website? So for that, we have to add the IDs to the each section. Okay. So how can we do that? That is really easy. Okay. So we have this testimonial section. So let's click on the edit section here. And if I just click on the advanced here, 
you can see the option of the CSS ID. So we have to provide the ID here to this particular section. So this is actually the testimonial. So I have added the testimonial. In the similar way, we would also add the ID to the other sections. So let's click here and click on the advance. So this would be upcoming events. All right. So if I just scroll down, you can see the explore the word. So I'll simply skip this. So we also have the tours and the destination. So I simply like to add the ID here. So let's click on the edit section. Let's just click on the advance. And from here, we have to add the ID. So this would be tours and destinations. So we have to add the hash here. And in the last, I would like to add the ID for the contact us. So let's just click here. And this would be contact us ID. All right. So now we have added the IDs to each section here. All right, so now what we need to do, we have to do some modifications in our menu. Okay, so let's click on the publish. Okay, so first of all, we have to go back inside the WordPress. Okay, so now what we need to do, we have to go inside the appearance. And in the appearance, I would like to click on the themes. And from here, we have to click on the customize air on our Astro theme. So from here, we will be going inside the header builder. So in the header builder, let's just click on the primary menu. And let's just click on the configure menu from here. Okay, so the primary menu would be the main menu. All right, so we have to edit the menu from here. So let's click on the edit menu. And I would like to remove this tours and destinations. So here I have to add the ID of our tours and destination that we have added earlier. So that is tours and destinations. All right. And if I just click on the about us, I would like to add the context here. Contact us. And here we have to add our contact us ID. All right. So this will work fine. So let's just remove the home page. And I would like to add the new item. So that would be the custom link. So here I would actually like to add the upcoming events. Okay. And the link text would be upcoming events okay so let's click on the add to menu okay so i have to drag this to the top all right so now you can see here we have the upcoming events we have the tours and a destination and we have the contact us all right so that is contact us all right so this will work fine all right so let me just explain you that what i have done here so previously add you have seen that i have added the ids to the section for the upcoming events and for the tours and for the contact us. So now what I'm actually doing here, I've created the menu. I have linked those IDs of the section to the menu here. So for the upcoming event ID, I have added this to this uh, link. And for the tours and the destination, I have added here. And for the contact us, I have added here. All right, so now let's just go back. Okay, so if you want to add the custom logo, that would be really easy. You have to click on the site identity. And from here, you can select the site title and the logo settings. And from here, you can actually add your own logo if you want to. So if you want to change the logo, you can simply do it from here. All you need to do is to click on the change logo from here. And from here, you can simply choose your own logo. Okay, so this is how we can change the logo. And if you want to do the customization in the footer, that is also easy. So let's just go back. All you need to do for the customization in the footer, you need to click on the footer builder. And you can see here, we have the copyright here. So you can change the values here if you want to. And you can add the widget here that is already added. All right, so if you want to add anything else here, you can simply do it. All you need to do is to click here. And you can see here, we can add the HTML. We can add the widget here. We can add the social icons here. We can add the footer menu here. So you can simply add the elements in the footer from here. Okay, so let's just go back. All right, so now let's just click on the publish. And let's just go back to our WordPress dashboard. And let's just click on the pages. All right, so now let's click on the view home page here. And you will be able to see the home page here. So we have the upcoming events. We have the tours and the destinations. And we have to contact us. All right, so if I just click on the upcoming events, you will be able to see we are navigating to the upcoming events. In the similar way, if I just click on the tours and the destination, we will be navigated to the tours and the destinations. But the thing is, I have done a mistake here. So first of all, we have to resolve that. So let's go back into the Elementor. We are inside the Elementor editor. So the mistake that I have done here is actually adding the hash here. Okay, so we don't have to add the hash here. 
So I have removed the hash from the upcoming events. So in the similar way, I would like to remove the hash from here. You can see here we have the hash here. So we have to remove this. Okay. Uh, we can do the same thing for the contact us. So let's just remove this. And now let's click on the publish. And now if I just go back to our home page, click on the refresh. Now if I just click on the tours in this destination, you will be able to see we are navigating to the tours and the destination. In the similar way, if I just go back to the top and click on the contact us, you will be able to see that we are directly navigating to the contact us form on the same page. Okay. So this is how we can create a single page website in the WordPress. If you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.